The 2016 FEI Classics four-star track at Le Moulin follows the same route as 2015, but sees a significant increase in technicality. The first warm-up jumps prepare them for the big questions in the Krull Village Field with its two traverses of water. 5ABC is a house to two skinny elements with no alternative. Then they loop around the perimeter through the two-minute marker before coming back to the water at Fence 6, which is two sharply angled boats. Fence 7, then, is a double of oxes on mounds to a related corner at 8, and then a house at 9 completes the field. Fences 10, 11, and when they come back to 13 are very similar, with a brush oxer to a corner, enlisting potentially those 20 penalties. Bravery question at 14, and then the new beer barrels bounce at 15. At the Mesmatike fence, they start out over rails suspended behind a yawning ditch and then set up for the big water. It's in over this skinny hanging log before a step up and bounce distance to that second element. Getting their feet wet again, they jump up another bank and then have a similar question on the other ring. Onto the old race course for the Silver Birch Oxer and then the trough before the arena questions coming up at the eight minute marker. They've got the Longines clocks and also the Lotto brushes in there. A run up from the road to Rio then sets them to the DHL complex. A big drop here before up onto the island to a skinny triple brush arrowhead and then a choice of elements coming out. Again, an opportunity for a quiet minute of galloping through the woods before the final combination fence on course. They jump over a big table and then to two angled horses' heads before the welcome sight of the last two on course. 31 fences, 45 jumping efforts, 11 minutes 10, the optimum time.